Hello, hello, and welcome to another fabulous day in the art room. This is another one of my preschool videos for my preschool friends, right? Today, uh, we're going to be talking about how uh, the holiday, uh, this is, we're now in November, uh, and the holiday uh, that is coming up uh, is Thanksgiving! Woo! Thanksgiving, where we give thanks uh, for all that we have on the people around us. Uh, so today, my preschool friends, we're going to be making a cute little uh, November uh, holiday uh craft together so we're going to be making um i usually do this with my students where um uh we make a little i'm a cutie pie piece of pumpkin pie on a plate oh my goodness okay so what i do first uh grown-ups adults uh in the room uh yes what i normally do is i take a paper plate okay and I get a uh, little plastic uh, where I usually try to find the ones that are colorful. I found some red ones this year and I was very excited about that. Um, but I usually try to get um, something that's, you know, that will stand out, not the clear ones, but something colorful that will stand out against the, the plate. And then I just hot glue them onto, so I took my hot glue gun. And you can also, if you don't have hot glue, uh, you could just take um, bottle glue and just uh, put it down and just kind of press it down and leave it for a little bit, let it sit like that, and that will also work just as well, All right? Um, I used uh, hot glue just because I had some and I was like, this will be a bit quicker. Um, so I went ahead and hot glued um, uh, these on because I usually have to do like a, a whole assembly line of them because I'm trying to get like several done for my for my four-year-old classes. Um, but, uh, and then I write, I'm a cutie pie up here. And um, that's usually what they come in and they see is I've already prepared this for them. So that would be something to start with. Um, if you want to do that together as a family, like you and your preschooler, you could, um, you know, go shopping together for that, which would be pretty cool. Um, uh, going out and getting a paper plate, uh, a plastic bit of plasticware, and uh, then going home and kind of putting that together uh, with each other. That'd be awesome. But uh, we start by doing that. All right. And then I take another piece, uh, another paper plate, and I cut out a slice of it. So I take a blank paper plate and I cut out just a little slice. So I draw a triangle usually on it and I just cut out the little triangle to make this little slice. This is going to be the actual piece of pie. All right. Uh, so I do this so that the students can have the, uh, uh, instead of just drawing it, you might be wondering, why don't you just draw it onto here? Um, I usually do this so that the students get the uh, more glue. Um, practice so they get a little bit more practice gluing so I make this little slice and the first step of the project for that I have them do is for my preschool friends you take the slice and you've got to actually take a glue stick or a glue bottle or whatever you're using if you're using tape to put down uh, use tape if you're using staples uh, you might have to I wouldn't let the preschooler I wouldn't yet let your preschooler use a stapler by themselves but um, you could uh, help them or show them how um, but Definitely, if you've got glue, use the glue. Um, remember, if we're using a glue stick, we roll it up just a little bit. If I roll it up all the way, what'll happen? It'll all fall out. That's right, okay? So I need to take the glue stick, put some glue on the back of my piece of pie. All right? Let's put some glue on the back of my piece of pie. And then I'm going to stick that onto the plate and stick it down. So that just gives them a little bit more practice with whatever glue or whatever adhesive that you're using. It gives them a little bit of practice. So that's why you would do it that way if you choose to do it that way. Otherwise, if that's not what you plan on doing, you can just draw it. Just draw the slice onto the plate. That'd be fine too. All right. And you'll notice that there's a line right here. I drew a line on this part to separate the crust, all right, from uh, the orange part, uh, the filling part of the pie. And this line, and you can see it on this one, this line helps the preschooler be able to see, okay, above this line, I want to put brown. Below this line, I want to put orange, right? And that's one of those things that in their brains um, is kind of helpful because you're starting to teach them directions like above, below, uh, those kinds of um, words. So that's what's very helpful about this one as well is you're kind of helping to solidify that. So after you've done this, you've got, you've got this part, right? They've got to actually fill in the piece of pie. So Right? I give them a little bit of orange paper and a little bit of brown paper. If you have, if you don't have construction paper and you don't have a little bit of orange, you don't have a little bit of brown, I would just use white paper that you have them color beforehand. So maybe you take a little square of white paper and you have them color it orange or uh, take a little square of white paper, have them color it brown first. And that's that's a good substitution as well. Um, so that's up to you, whatever you're using. You know what you've, what you've got at home, so substitute whatever you've got. Right? Then this is the part where I have them tear it into little bits. All right, so my preschool friends, go ahead and tear into little bits. When you're tearing, this is how you tear. You take your pinchers, all right, finger and thumb, your pinchers, all right, I'm holding the paper like this with my pinchers, and then I'm going to twist like that, all right? 
tinctures and twist and I'm tearing. This is good practice for fine motor skills. All right. So it's good practice. That's another reason that we do it uh, tearing so that they're kind of getting that work with their fingers, kind of getting that dexterity uh, to be able to tear. All right. And then um, I usually give them a glue stick. Like I said, use whatever you've got, glue bottle, tape, what have you. All right. But then they're going to go ahead and put some glue on the little bits. And like I said, the orange would be below this line. Well, it's going to be the orange filling. And the brown for the crust would be above the line. So I'm not going to have you sit here and watch me do the whole thing. But uh, let's go ahead and fast forward. All right. So once you've got that brown up top for the crust and the orange on the bottom uh, for the pie uh, part, the last little bit is I usually give them a little, this is actually a, a white packing peanut, uh, you know, uh, that you would put in packages. Um, I, I get these, like you can get a bag of them um, at, uh, at the store. Um, so I, I usually get one of those. Um, uh, but it's really anything that you want. You could use a white piece of paper for the, this is the little whipped cream on the, uh, on the pumpkin pie. So that's up to you what you want to use for that. But I usually, um, give them a, a little touch of bottle glue and they stick down the, uh, little packing peanut as the, uh, whipped cream. So, uh, you can substitute a lot of different things for that, um, to add as your whipped cream. Uh, but that's, that's what I tend to use is a little packing peanut. But like I said, a white piece of paper, uh, shaped like a rectangle would work just as, just as well. Um, but I just a fun little craft for them to make and then normally when I do this project I actually bring in um, I check uh, of course uh, beforehand about allergies um, and make sure that we're all good to go there but um, I usually bring in um, uh, a pumpkin pie and then I give them a little scoop and they try pumpkin pie uh, many of them for the first time uh, and they tell us whether or not they like it uh, so um, that could be a fun activity at home that you could do with your preschooler um, you could make this together um, uh, in November uh, make this together and then try try pumpkin pie together. All right. Have a wonderful uh, rest of your day. I hope you enjoyed our little craft and uh, take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.